Mm. Let's do this. Do I look fat? Not as fat as me. Good. Perfect. That's all I care. It's all, That's all I care It's about. all in context. <laughs> So welcome back, guys. Uh, Manhattan Project has a kind of neat little thing that we're going to start, and we're just going to call this the Manhattan Project Barrel Project. Or is that what we're going with? I don't care. Whatever. Yeah. It's going to be the TMP Barrel Project. So this is going to be the start of the adventure. So at home, I had bought uh, some limestone water and uh, season the barrel uh, for close to a week or so. We just dumped that out. And now for the first iteration of our barrel project, we are going to start off with the Buffalo Trace White Dog, 62.5% um, or 125 proof mash number one. And we're just gonna fill this sucker up and see what happens. We're gonna leave it in there. We're gonna kind of taste it periodically every week just to kind of get the process. And then once we feel like it's matured enough to where we want, we'll rebottle it and then we'll come back and you know, there'll be a, there'll be a follow-up video where we'll taste it and grade it and all that other stuff. I mean, this is basically just the raw distillate. This right. is before it's been aged. This is what comes out of the still. And so I'm looking forward to this because like I am a big fan of Buffalo Trace. Yeah. Um, a lot of, Buffalo Trace is a little, it's a little polarizing because it. Oh, very much so. Yeah, it should be a budget whiskey because typically the MSRP is under what twenty bucks. But for regular Buffalo Trace. Yeah, but. Yeah, like twenty-ish. Yeah, but but it's because it's an allocated bottle. It's kind of hard to find at that price point. You see a lot of single barrels with Buffalo Trace, right? And that you know inherently drives the price up because there's costs associated with a liquor store or whatever going right. through that process. But yes. Nine times out of ten, it's significantly more expensive than it actually should be. Right, and that may all change with that whole thing—the lawsuit going on between, you know, the distributors and Buffalo Trace and Sazerac and all that. So that may change, and I ho I'm hoping it does because I would love to see Buffalo Trace become more readily available and common. Well, we're not going to need any of that because we're making our own Buffalo Trace. I like it. All right, so you already went into the process as far as the seasoning of the barrel. Yeah, so it's you know this it's a it's a hundred percent new American oak charred barrel. Um, it has to be seasoned ahead of time, so I seasoned it instead of with tap water. I bought some limestone wa limestone filtered water, and I used that to season it. You know that a lot of times is what distilleries will use to proof down uh, whiskey. It's you know it's good for if you're drinking whiskey neat at home and you don't like it 100% straight, you can right. add a few drops of that to your to your neat whiskey and kind of can enhance some of the flavors. Right. Um, yeah. So it's been seasoned, and now we're basically just ready to funnel it in. Funnel it in, quite literally. I will hold this if it needs it, but I don't think it does. Well, you can't do that. I didn't seal it. Damn, it's pretty pretty sealed. <laughs> Right, so I have a feeling that we're probably going to fast forward through a lot of this. Got this on there tight. I feel like that cork is swelled. That artificial cork? Yes, the rubber cork swells under pressure. I swell under pressure. Well, apparently you're under a lot of pressure then. <laughs> I don't know why I keep you around. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how much of that Todd allowed you all to see through his editing, but <laughs> four of those was perfect. That fifth one immediately overflowed, which has been cleaned up subsequently. But now we are going to try this neat. I actually like the way this and smells. And it just smells like barley. It smells wheat. Like a... It smells like wheat. Yeah, it smells exactly like what it is. That is interesting to me. Wheat and corn. My head first went to corn. My nose went first went to corn. Then wheat. Then barley. Mm-hmm. All right. Interesting. Well, let's try it. White dog neat. That 
That is. Ooh. Oh, you think that's hot? No, not hot. I think that that is actually really good. It is. I just I don't know what the make of it though. It may. It reminds me of a corn whiskey. Right. Oh, it's very corny. But it's so much more. So much more in depth. Anyway, so yeah. Coming soon. Sometime in 2023. Uh, the first iteration of the, the Manhattan Project Barrel Project. So anyway, keep a lookout. Coming soon. That's all I got. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Interesting. I actually like this a lot. <laughs>